No, no, no. We um end the show after this. After this, okay, cool. Yeah, twenty up. Netty pot. <laughs> 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 Netty pot for tomorrow morning. Messed up. I need Thank one. You. Venmo me or send it to me via Uber Eats. Thanks. Bye. Oh, we got Dixie Normus. Thank you. Ten bucks says, says "Girl, to it for my room is fresh." You know. Okay. We got um, DJ says, <laughs> "Dan, when Asian Law sat down, Bye, she made all other girls look busted." You up? Bye. Later. All right. Um, girl, to it for my room is fresh. You know. Okay, cool. And then we got um. That's the one. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's Ace Chan, the sensei, and I'm back at y'all with another video. Please, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and tell a friend. I have been building my channel. The progress has been going. It's been working. I want to thank everyone who has been supporting me in my latest music video that I just dropped, Won't Do. It's on all platforms, so make sure you get that, okay? Today, we're going to get on Asian Doll in a debate that she just recently had at the Fresh and Fit Podcast. Asia Doll and Fresh and Fit Podcast host Myron Gaines exchange additional words online. Asian Doll's name lived in the trending spot all Tuesday. First, a video surfaced that Asia exchanging heated words with Fresh and Fit Podcast host Myron Gaines. The interaction led to the artist exit in the recording studio abruptly. Once the clip hit the net, Twitter users immediately began discussing Myron's treatment of black female guests. Following the viral rounds of the clip, both Myron and Asian Doll hopped on Instagram with their own messages about this moment. Here's the clip. Uh, I don't even know who she is, so uh, I don't care. Simple. People guys, 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 sidebar, people. sidebar conversations, please. All right. what I've you? told you, this is like, you know, this is like the fifth uh, time I've told you that, right? Yeah, Six so, time. Like, stop. Hey, mean as fuck. She's been doing it the whole show. I'm not mean as fuck. I just have rules. Man, 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 man. That's like a push. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> you mean. I'm not mean at all. Okay, I don't care. Have you been here the whole time? No. All right, then. So you don't know what was happening, I don't right? Give a fuck. Okay, then. So. How are you gonna come on somebody's show, not know what go down, and say, "Oh, you're mean"? It don't matter. I can say what I want. Okay, Just well you can get the fuck off the show too. Me. I don't give a fuck. You gotta come, come on the platform. Bro, I, don't, nah, I, don't, yeah, I don't have to. Chill. He's hot. I'm calm. No, I'm very, okay. I'm very calm. But it's like, like, bro, you gotta show a little oh, yeah, bit of respect bro, on the platform. It's, it's cool, respect. bro. Chill. Shit. I say you mean. It is what it is. What the fuck you want me to say? That's you, not the truth, though. You mad about I said mean? You grown as hell. What? Yeah. Well. Okay. 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 Wow. I must say, as a black man, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed because I haven't seen many black men speaking out after this. The way they degraded black woman is unexplainable. I know they're from different areas and you know every man has their opinion and their preferences. But to speak on black women like that and say you don't rock with the night team or whatever they said just made you look like a clown. And no matter how much cancel culture tries to step in, this is just a no-no and we have to put an end to it. Now, Young Jock spoke out and said something very important. He said, if they were making remarks about the LGBT community, then it would have been an uproar about this whole situation. But because they're speaking on black women, not many people has been speaking out. So that's why I'm doing my part making this video. Not only speaking about the debate going on, but the awareness of how we can do something about these situations. 
I'm not a big fan of Fresh and Fit podcast hosts. However, I can admit that I watched this show. So that's my way of supporting them. But I would like to have a conversation about this with them and get more deeper into the ideas of this. Now, Asia Doll's late boyfriend, Jack Boy, ex sniper gang member, has commented rarely on this. He just felt like it was BS and he didn't have much to say about it. He laughed about it, really. There also was some mess going on. I don't know. It was getting messy. Speaking on Antonio Brown, a.k.a. A.B., who was flirting with Asia Doll, or they say Asia Doll was flirting with him. Who knows? And Jack Boy, he stepped in and said, man, we can share. He just posted a quick tweet saying it, it doesn't matter. Like, as long as you bring her back. So you can tell he's not taking the situation seriously. However, we still have Fresh and Fit podcasts who are degrading black women. So students, tell me what you think in the comments. What are we going to do about this situation? Is Asia Doll wrong or is Fresh and Fit podcast host wrong? What would you do in a situation like this? Because I know for sure. This isn't right in my opinion. Make sure you comment how you feel and like, subscribe, and share this video. And also follow my platforms. I'm everywhere at underscore A C E C H A N underscore S H Chan. Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. One love. Oh yeah, and merch. Merch is definitely on the way, it's coming. A lot of people are saying get a website and so forth. I'm saying personally, reach out to me, DM me on these social sites, I get back. I'm not on no Hollywood, I'll talk to you. As long as it's about business, and we can do business. <laughs> Stay tuned students, on love.